Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we will learn how to create a Cucumber Runner class for our BDD feature files in Catalon Studio. So let's get started and I will open my Catalon Studio and this is a project I created in the last session for BDD testing and we created a feature file login.feature and we also created the step definition for this feature file which is login steps groovy and you can see we have got this step definition here and we also created a test case from where we could run our feature file using the keywords run feature file and then run feature folder so we have already done this in the earlier session you can watch that in case you have not watched and now we will start creating a cucumber runner file or a cucumber runner class and what exactly is cucumber runner class i will go to uh, Google and search for cucumber runner and I will go to images and let me just take this image so you can see here this is a class where we can actually add some options to run our feature files so we can say uh, we can tell here in the cucumber options what all feature files to execute what is their glue code and we can also give some options for reporting so if I go here I can go to this page and I can also show you some other examples you can see this is how we create a class for cucumber runner we import these three libraries and then we say we add the annotation at run with cucumber class and then add cucumber options where we give all these options and if I go here so here if you see what is cucumber test runner so in very simple terms it is a class uh, where you can run your cucumber feature files a way to run your cucumber feature files and you get all of these advantages so it is an interlink between feature files and step definitions there are multiple types of runners and with the runner class you have the option to run either a single feature file or multiple feature files and all the options you can give here so here now i will go back and to create a runner class i will go inside my include folder scripts folder and you can go to any of the packages i will just go to default package and do a right click say new step definition and i will say this is cucumber runner you can name it anything i will not add the templates here and say ok and you can see it has just created a simple class cucumber runner now we have to add those options here so here i have also written it here these are the imports so we have to make these three imports so here i will write down the steps here step number one is create a new class inside include scripts groovy folder and step number two is add code in the class and the code is first we have to import this so these are the three statements that we have to import and I will copy this and put it in the import section above and this is a standard import if you see the examples as well which i have shown you you can see this uh, these are the standard imports and i have imported it here and i will collapse the import statements and then i also have to add all this options so we have to say add run with cucumber dot class so here i will say above the class i will say at run with and if you hover over this run with you can see it is coming from junit runner so that is why we imported the junit and i will say cucumber dot class and then we have to add the options so here we have to say add cucumber options and these options so i will say here add cucumber options and again if you hover over this it is again coming from cucumber dot api dot cucumber options and then here I will give the options for example I can now say 
what is the features I want to include so I will say here inside options I will say features equals to and I will give I can give a separate feature files or the feature folder I will just give this location of this features folder here I will copy ID and paste it so this is these are all the features I want to include as part of this runner and then I can say glue code is now I can keep this blank because in Catalon Studio it will directly glue the code from your feature files to your step definition so I can keep this blank I do not have to tell the folder or the step definition to glue to these features and this will be taken automatically and I can say I can say plugin and here I can say plugin equals to in square brackets now I can give some options for example if you see here I have written pretty format HTML format so I can say here I need a pretty format and I will also say here HTML and in the HTML report so I'm uh, I need a HTML reports and I can put the reports folder so I can say HTML and this should be created in a reports folder it will create a new folder called reports folder and will add the HTML I can also say I want a JSON and I can say uh, it should come in the reports folder forward slash cucumber dot json so it will also create a json file for the execution and that's it you can see all this i will also just put it here so that it is available to you in the notes all these notes will be available to you okay so this is what we have created step number three is in a test case add cucumber keyword and that is I will go to a test case I'm just going to my earlier test case and we have seen the run feature file and run feature folder keywords if I go to the keywords browser now and go to built-in keywords and go to cucumber keywords go to general we have another keyword called run with cucumber runner so this is what I'm going to use I will drag and drop it here and I will disable the earlier two steps so I will say disable and now here we have to give the give our class that we have created so if I go to the script mode you can see this is how it is run cucumber kw dot run with cucumber runner and here we have to mention the class which is uh, cucumber runner so this is the class name you can see cucumber runner dot groovy so I will say cucumber runner dot class so this is our class cucumber runner and I will mention it here cucumber runner and dot class because this is a class and I will save everything and also I will add this here So this is what you have to add in test case cucumber keyword dot run with cucumber runner and whatever is your class name dot class. So now I will run this and you have already seen in the earlier video that this is the feature that we are running which is our login feature. So uh, here there are some let me check there is some error so it says unexpected token here so here okay uh, we should not be closing this here this should get closed at the end so this was a mistake this should get closed here and this is fine now and I will go to my test case and run on a Chrome browser so let us see if this runs our feature file and yes it is opening a chrome browser and running the feature file and it is running fine and now as we have mentioned in our cucumber runner class 
that we need a uh, HTML in the reports folder and a JSON in the reports folder with the name cucumber.json I can now go to the location of this project and in fact I can go to from here as well I can just go to the reports folder and I have to go to the location of the project so I will go to BDD demo and now here you can see we now have a new folder created reports folder if I go inside we have a HTML we have a cucumber.json and all these things I will go to HTML file and here is our HTML file so it says this is the feature if I expand this here we you can see the actual feature that we had given all this feature is here along with examples and this is the outcome so everything was passed in case there is any failure it will again show you here so it will give you the entire stack trace with the failure details and now I can manage the running of my feature files using this cucumber class so this is how you can use a cucumber runner class in catalon studio for your bdd testing i hope this session was useful for you thank you for watching